Hey guys, welcome back. We're finally at the Facebook video for the Shopify series. I've been so busy, so I haven't had time to do it. Finally sitting down to get it done. Before we go into the actual Facebook advertising side of things, I want to just go through some information, how I set up mine. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to do the same or not. But let's go through how I do mine and how you, how how Facebook uh, works, okay? Before we actually get into the actual uh, setting up some ads and stuff like that and what pictures to use and all that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me about that. But first, we'll just jump straight into it. You need to have a budget set in mind for your testing, okay? This is just for testing, and then you have some more budgets um, after that. So what I do is I will set maybe four, five, six ads, uh, campaigns, sorry, and we will, and, I'll, and then I'll uh, have a budget for that. So uh, for this example, I'll set up seven, $7 PPE ads, which is pay uh, like engagement, and then a $7 uh, website conversions. And what that means is when someone buys the product, it'll uh, base my op optimization off the um, sale and stuff like that, uh, which is why you have a pixel on your website. So what I so for this example, I have four adverts at seven dollars, and I run them. I run it for five days, and it will my budget will be one hundred and forty New Zealand dollars, which comes out to about one hundred and six US dollars. Now I'm not going to be doing this. This is just an example of what I usually do when I do my Facebook advertising. So I run them at about $7, which is $5 US, uh, which is basically really the, that that's the general number that people run. They'll run three to $5 or whatever, but I like to run $5 US for all my adverts when I'm testing. So I'll run four ads or campaigns, whatever you wanna call them, for five days, and I'll, I'll sh um, t t tell you why, why I do that. So, Facebook ads is very, confusing for a lot of people you need to be patient you need to, you need to be very patient so day one of your adverts right are going to be very very expensive because Facebook hasn't optimized your adverts yet so the cost will be high and people always quit usually at this point because they'll start an advert and on day one day two day three it'll be very high your cost per action will be high your engagement cost will be high everything will be high and people were like well how am I gonna make money this is I'm not gonna make money so I, they quit or they just don't do it anymore because they don't understand how um, Facebook ads work so between the first day and the fourth fifth or sixth just any of those days there's there's no specific day it works on different niches different adverts uh, different people but between those days it's always high okay and then maybe on the fourth day or the fifth day or the sixth day your, your the cost will drop dramatically okay it will drop so far and you'll get, start to get cheap adverts but people never get to that point because they quit too early because they're scared to spend the money to get to this point remember my budget like in the example that we talked about before is 140 new zealand dollars so 106 us dollars we'll just stick to that because a lot of you guys are from the us so i'm willing to spend 106 dollars to get to this point to my optimized adverts. Now it could take four days, could take five days, it could take six, but we're gonna go based off five. So if it's four, if it takes four days, then obviously you're gonna have, have a, your budget's gonna be lowered and you're gonna have a little bit extra money to spend on the next step. But, but that's how Facebook works, okay? Day one, day two, and day three are usually always very expensive. I've just put day one here because that's the most expensive day. And then it gets lower and lower. And then on the fourth, fifth, or sixth day, it will drop dramatically. Uh, it will drop dramatically and you'll be like, wow, this is nice and cheap now, okay? But as I say, a lot of people never get to this point, so they don't get to experience that. The next thing I wanna talk about is, let's say you get to day five, okay? So I've done my testing and I'm at day five and I've spent $140. I've got four adverts, remember? Uh, one of them gets two sales and let's just say the cost is kind of average or low I then keep it for three more days uh, I get no sales but I but it's low cost so if my adverts really low cost uh, so um, you know low kicks uh, clicks to websites or low post engagement stuff like that I'm gonna keep it okay I don't care about click-through rates or any of that because what I'm all I care about is the engagement of the post 
Um, if, it's, if it's website conversions, uh, I, I just leave it because there's nothing really to go off. I don't care about uh, click, click through rate. I don't care how many click, people click on the, on the link because all I want is sales. Okay, and all it takes is one or two people to click on that link and get some sales. That's all I'm looking for. So sales is my main indicator on how I, how I optimize my ads and what I do. But but if I st if I have no sales and I'm getting low cost, I'm going to keep it for another three days, uh, and I'll tell you and I'll tell you why in a second. And then if I have no sales and high cost, I'm going to kill it. And then if I have two sales and high cost, or you know one or two sales, I'm going to kill it as well. But, uh, because it either makes no money in return for me or a low ROI, return on investment. Now, a low return on investment is really depends on what you think that is. To me, it's like 10, 20%. I don't want those sorts of sort of stats. I know for a fact that people get a thousand percent return on their investment, 200, 300, 400. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for 20, 10, 5%. I'm looking for big return on investment. Because let's say I have one ad that's converting and I'm getting 10% return on my investment. There's not much room for error there. So if I run that ad and I keep running it, and then let's say I run it for two days, three days, I go on holiday or I don't check it for two or three days, and the sales stop, then my 10% ROI all of a sudden goes to minus 50, minus 100, minus 200. Okay, there's, there's no room for error there. But if my... Um, return on investment is at a thousand or eight hundred or seven hundred, and then my advert starts to slow down or I stop getting sales. It doesn't really matter because I, you know, let's say I go away on holiday for two days and I'm on a plane for 24 hours or something, and and my I lose a bit of ROI. It doesn't matter because I've already made quite a bit to make up for that. But if I'm at 10 or 20 percent ROI and my ads start to turn to crap on me and I'm on a plane and I can't check my ads or turn them off and then I go to minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, minus 100, then you know there's, there's nothing there to kind of back me up if that happens. But if you have more ROI, then you have uh, enough there to back you up if that does happen, uh, if that makes sense. So I want high return on investment adverts. That's all I go for. I'm talking like four, five hundred percent type stuff, a thousand, fifteen hundred. It's possible, I see it all the time. I get it quite often. So that's what I want. So I kill all my adverts at this point after five days if they have no ROI or low, like 20%, 30%. I don't want those ads. But if I'm getting sales up here and I have good R so let's just say I get two sales and I spend my, um, so 140 here would be split it. Let's just say I make 100% ROI, I'm gonna keep it. Because I can, uh, when I scale, I can make that better because my ads will be cheaper as well. So let's say I keep these two here. So my low cost one and my one that's made me some sales, let's say cost is kind of average here, uh, low to average, that, that's still good. And then I keep them for three more days. So I'm gonna sink another $42 into it for another three days. Uh, and we're gonna to go to 182 New Zealand dollars. Then what happens is we are now at, so seven, we're now at day 10 at 180, Two dollars. So this is what people don't understand. Facebook adverts actually take a long time to do, right? Um, you can't just jump on and make twenty grand overnight. It doesn't happen. People say it happens, but it just doesn't happen. Okay, you actually have to let Facebook optimize it for you and scale it up, and it can take uh, two to three weeks, you know. And then we have we're at one eighty two, and let's just say my advert one and advert two after day on day three are still converting well for me, right? So there's a few things you can do. You can uh, multiply the ads by different ages and you know add another age or different state, add another state if you're advertising in USA, or you can do other countries. So you're basically just multiplying them and changing a few things. You don't want to change it dramatically because then uh, Facebook will try and re-optimize them again. Or if you don't want to do that, duplicate the adverts and increase the price. Don't change the original ones that are working for you you want to keep these here okay these are your safe zone because these are making you money at a low cost okay you want to keep these exactly the same as they are just leave them because if these mess up on you or these mess up on you you can always fall back to these two adverts that are making you money this is very important keep these adverts these two that are performing well or three or four or whatever you have depending on uh, how much how much you want to test or your budget okay or duplicate the adverts and increase the price slightly 
Okay, so if you have these adverts running at $7 a day, do these at 13 or 14 or even 10, okay? Don't go from $7 to 100 or 1,000. It, it, it doesn't work like that. And uh, it can really, you can lose all your money. Um, I don't know why, it just doesn't work like that. You need to increase it in small amounts. So you could go 13 one day, maybe leave it for two or three days, to another, go to 20, then go to 30, go to 40. And you know, your, your, your lifespan of your adverts will last a lot longer. And what I mean by that is, I'll cover that in a second actually, but your life, your adverts will last a lot longer. And people don't understand that one campaign can last you for months. It can last you for months. That one campaign can make you a lot of money. So that's all you need. And that brings me to the next slide. So failed, oh no, that this actually doesn't bring me to the next slide, but this uh, slide is about failed testing, okay? So if you have a failed test, change the product first in the niche if you can, and then as a last resort, change your niche, okay? So always change the product. Now, what happened to me uh, not so long ago, I found a trending product. It was a hashtag that was trending on Facebook. It was some sports t-shirts, a sports star. So what I did is I found some sports t-shirts on AliExpress based around that person. And the first, my first campaign, I lost $200, okay? That was my testing budget. I lost that. I changed the product. I lost another $200. I then changed the product again. So I changed the, you know, a different color, different design or whatever, and I lost another 200. Then on the fourth test, I made $13,000 in profit. So that's, that's what I mean. I changed the product and on the fourth time I changed it, I made a lot of money. And these um, adverts were actually getting quite a lot of engagement. So I knew there was something there. I just had to find the right product, the right color, the right design, whatever triggered these people. And I made $13,000 in profit. So the point is I spent $600 but I made my money back. So you just need that one simple change or that one tweak that makes you money. Um, that, you know, a lot of people will lose that $200 and they'll quit. That's it. I don't want to do Facebook adverts anymore. I don't want to do Shopify. It doesn't work. It's a scam or something, right? I get those emails every single day. But that brings us back to this slide is they quit when the cost is high. Okay, because I don't understand how Facebook adverts work. If you don't understand how Facebook adverts work, I suggest you do some research before you try this method, uh, the Shopify and Facebook method. Now to the last slide, don't let numbers distract you. And this is what I was talking about. Um, all you need is one campaign to make uh, you a lot of money, okay? So if we go to this here, we'll just um, open this up a bit. This is the first ever course that I watched on this method. It taught me quite a lot. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But as you can see, these guys have all the numbers here. So $1,000 a day, right? Uh, 500, 900. And if we go down here, this guy made $55,000 in 30 days. People instantly think that these people went onto Shopify and made a store, went onto Facebook and their first campaign, they made all this money. What they don't understand is all of these people probably had a lot of failed campaigns before they got these winning ones. So these guys that are making $1,000 a day, right? Their first few months, they might have lost a ton of money. They might have lost two, or $3,000 just in testing or $500. And then what happens is they find that one campaign that starts making them all this money. I bet you all this money right here is made off one winning campaign. That has multiple adverts in it because what they've done is they've tested, they've found, they've they've tested, they've tested, they've probably lost a few times, they've failed a few times, and they've found the right campaign and they've scaled it up by multiplying the adverts and changing some uh, dynamics in the adverts, or simply multiplying it and then upscaling the price a little bit, uh, like I mentioned in the last slide. So don't get don't get distracted by numbers when people show you screenshots of hundreds of thousands of dollars in in a couple of months or stuff like that. Sure, they've made that money, okay? No doubt they've made that money. But I bet you they've failed a lot of times before that. They've spent a lot of money before that. And that's a lot thing. It's something that people always email me about. This person made this much money. Why, why can't I do it? They made that much money, but we don't know if they made that much money before. We don't know if they lost a lot of money before. Um, you know, th this guy, let's just say, for instance... This guy's made $500 revenue in one day, okay? Let's say he's had a shop going for 
a couple of weeks and he's made a few thousand dollars. We don't know that maybe um, a month before that he tried and he might have lost two or three thousand dollars. We, we just don't know. So you just, that what I'm trying to say is just don't get distracted by numbers and think that you can jump into Shopify and Facebook and get these numbers straight away. It doesn't work like that. You're usually going to fail multiple times on Facebook adverts, um, especially if you don't know anything about it. But if you have the right niche, the right product, then your, your chances of getting these um, numbers very fast um, are very, very good. Okay, your chances are very good. So before we really cover uh, end this, we'll just go over this real quick. I like to just go back over. So testing, you have a budget, run it for four, five, six days. You'll know when it when it's optimized because your price will just go down real, real fast. It'll jump. So let's say you're getting 20 cent cost per engagement, right? It will go down to like five or six or something on that day. And you'll know that Facebook's finally optimized your advert. And then don't fall into this trap, okay? If the cost is high, just write it out. Trust me. You'll love it when you get to these that optimized days and your ads are running at one cent, two cents per click or per engagement. It happens all the time and it's so satis uh, satisfying because you know that now you've got uh, room to work with these adverts. You can put more money in or you, you know, you're not spending 20 cents per click anymore. You know, Don't be the guy that quits here. Trust me, you don't want to be that because you're going to miss out on opportunities. Next, once you get to your optimization day, whether it's four, five, six, seven, eight, and you've hit your budget, simply pick out your adverts that are winning and keep them for another three more days, four more days, whatever you like, and then increase the budget by a little bit. Well, you won't be increasing it, but it will increase itself because you've added on more days and kill off the ones that are not working for you. And then once you get your um, working adverts, and let's say they're still working, cool, you can multiply them into different ages, different states, different countries, different uh, relationship statuses, all that type of stuff. Or you can simply, to stay on the safe side, duplicate them and increase the price of the advert, uh, increase the like budget um, small, like small increments. So you wanna definitely just don't do big ones. So turn your $7 advert into an eight, nine, 10, 20. Well, no, 20 is too much, don't do that, sorry. Go, you do, just uh, stick to either double or under and then you can start increasing it to like 20, 30, a few more days after, okay? And remember to keep these ones the same. Don't change them. Don't change the original adverts. Just keep them. And then, yeah, this is my failed test that I made $13,000 profit on, but I lost $600 beforehand, okay? So be prepared to lose money, but you're always going to make it back if you have a winning campaign and you're going to make it back tenfold. You're going to make back a lot of money. All you need is that one winning campaign. So now we'll go into Facebook itself and I'll set up an, ad, uh, an advert and just basically run you through um, what I do, uh, find the interests and, and do some interest stacking and all that good stuff. So before we get into this, I just want to say that you don't need massive budgets on Facebook. Just because I use $200 for testing per campaign doesn't mean you need to. You can do it on 50 if you want. You can do adverts at $1 a day. It really just depends on how much time or patience you have because the less you use for testing, the longer it's going to take for your adverts to optimize. So what I do is I will use $200 per campaign and then I will go to about four or five campaigns before I decide to kill it. So what I'll do is if the first $200 one fails, I'll change the product or the color of the product in the advert. If that fails, I'll keep going. Then maybe at number four, if that fails, I'll just cancel it. So I would have spent $800 and I'll cancel it. Now, a lot of you think, well, why would I waste $800 on that? Because if I do get a winner, it could be potentially huge. I could make $100,000, $30,000, $10,000. But I'm not saying you have to spend that type of money. That's just what I like to do um, in my products. Now, if I get to the point where I've spent $600, $800, and I still haven't had a successful campaign, I'm pretty much going to change my niche. There's no no doubt about it. That's the point where I'm like, I need to change my niche. I've just wasted all this money. And then I'll find a niche where I can make some money and basically try again. And usually, nine times out of 10, I'll make money off that second niche. But I'm at the point now where I don't have a lot of failed ads, apart from the one a few weeks ago. But that was a trending topic and I hadn't really researched it as much as I should. But I still made $13,000. So it was a winner in the end. But yeah, just to clear it up, you don't need a ton of money. 
I would say uh, probably a hundred bucks would be good minimum for your testing um, to really get some good results but it doesn't have to it's uh, you don't need a ton of money now with this you can search little uh, you know dog breeds and all that there's lots of options so that's why I've kind of chosen this but I'm going to show you two ways that I would set up my ads the way that takes the longest and the easy way that doesn't take long at all and let's just have a look at the ad here very easy ad so do you love pugs a limited edition pug paw is on sale tag a friend who has a pug I always ask a question and then I add like limited edition and sale and then I always no matter what add the tag a friend who has a pug I get so much more engagement when I do that how Facebook works is the more engagement you get the more sales you get the more people interact with your post the cheaper everything is with your advertising if you have a post um, that is up for a couple of days and you get heaps of reach um, but no engagement and no sales and stuff like that the cost isn't going to come down it's going to come down a little bit or it might even go up but it's not going to come down a lot to the point where you think that you should be continuing on with the advert so first I'll show you the kind of like longest way to do this what I would do is go over to audience insights so audience insights here and I would put in the interest and then it's going to come up with like all the um, interest here okay and um, affinity is kind of like the highest highest it is the better because it's more related to your uh, topic so I would pick a bunch of these and put them in a text file then I'll transfer it over to my advert when I'm uh, creating it and you know I'll check out all these and see if people are engaging now this is the more precise stuff okay it takes a lot longer and but it's more precise and you've got a better chance of really narrowing down your um, targets but you know you don't need to do that there are easier ways and I'll show you how to do that which is what I do now I don't really do a lot of this stuff I do if it's um, a niche that I think is going to be hard but if it's a niche that I think is going to be really easy I don't bother with this because it takes uh, quite a long time and by the way a lot of you ask why I use my girlfriend's account it's because my accounts have a lot of adverts and I don't want people seeing them and it takes so long to blow them out so I use an account with nothing on it and it's just easier uh, to follow that way so to start the adverts I always use a power editor it's just a lot better and we're gonna st and then you'll have your campaigns your ad sets and your uh, ads where you actually create the ad so we're gonna create a campaign uh, we'll just call it pug test one uh, we're going to do post engagement, create an ad set, we'll just call it the same thing, and create. Now we have them in our little sections on the left here. So the ad set is actually where you're going to be um, multiplying your stuff if you have a successful campaign. Um, and then so, and this is where you edit everything. So we're going to go with uh, $7, like we talked about. I'm going to schedule this just because I'm not going to be actually. Um, using it so I don't want it to run up a bill I always go down first I always get down and change this so I get rid of Instagram news feeds and desktop right column so a bit of an interesting fact if you do news feeds and mobile it's pretty much 90% of the time you're gonna get your stuff from mobile your views because Facebook is showing that a lot right now showing mobile users pretty much all the adverts so I just stick with that. You get way cheaper clicks than, than if you do desktop uh, feeds now. Mobile is pretty much taken over the world, so just stick with that and you'll be good. Uh, then we're going to go with location. United States, I usually always go with that. You can still get one cent clicks, two cent clicks. It's a myth that you can't. You just uh, have to know who, who to target. Um, we're going to go people who live in this um, location. And then... What I'll do now is the interest, okay? So pug. But what I do, so I will go, I'm not gonna do any big ones just yet. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna stack, stack up some stuff. So I'll go pug lovers, which is 410. I'm gonna do all. I think, I, yeah, I'll do all for this one. But what I'll, I'll just show you something quite interesting before I, um, carry on with this the age will impact your reach that um, big time okay so I'm gonna go 23 to 27 and you'll notice my reach 
has gone up to 350 and before it was what were we at before we were under we were under uh, yeah so we're 270 now I always do 22 plus oh maybe we'll do 21 uh, any anything over 20 you, I get more buyers uh, and we're gonna go 27 here and I've got a reach of 360 which is quite good for Facebook now it used to be a lot better but they've uh, a lot yeah a lot better than that but they've changed um, quite dramatically now and then I'm gonna add another one so I'm gonna go I love my pug and the audience is at 110 I'm gonna go um, there's not really many massive like Doug the Pug, I don't really want to um, get that one because that's just like a fan page of a pug. It's not like a pug um, page. Then I'm going to go... Actually, we'll stick to the 110. That's quite... No, actually, I do want to add more. I do want to add more. That's not very big if, if we um, start to get... So pugs, not drugs. Still 110. Could maybe stretch out if we go 30. I don't really want to drag this video on so I'm not going to go too in depth with this so we can get 140 out of this I'll just stick with that okay and then we've got our mobile news feed here post engagement everything's all good to go and I've only got three interest you might think like oh, that's not really enough but it is you can get I've even got um, you know massive campaigns just off one one single in, uh, interest that's like you know reach 400,000 people and uh, all that type of stuff 140 is quite low but I mean you know 140 people is still a lot to get in front of plus you're gonna have all the organic stuff as well so this could definitely work if you were doing it and then I'm just gonna and remember this is just the testing stage okay it doesn't it's not um, cr crazy targeting just yet now you're on to the ad so make the ad add the page add the post and just to make sure it looks good on mobile this looks pretty good I would like the link up there but I could go back and edit it or won't do it for this and make sure your shop of uh, your um, tracking pixel is got the green light next to it and then you just go to review changes and continue now what I want to do is go to add set duplicate and go create a new campaign Pug test two. Uh, we'll do post engagement again. So now we're all on. We are on. So this is the pug post two one. I just got to edit this as well. Pug test two. Let's just create new there. I'm gonna leave it at seven dollars. I'm going to leave it on the United States. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the age a bit. We might do so 29. We might do 30 to 35. Oh, it's a bit low. We'll do 27. There's like a sweet spot, so that's pretty good. It's going to be quite low now. So 310. Maybe we'll add some more interest. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of these ones. And I just I just randomize things. Like that's all I'm doing. Because these are just tests. So now I'm just going to go straight pug. Mass, you know, 310. Uh, I might go... You know, see what I mean? Like there's different um, things you can do. Beagle. So if you want to do it, you can run a test on Beagle or Poodle. There's so many different um, dog dog uh, breeds you can go for, right? Now I'm just going to run straight pug. Not super targeted, but remember this is just testing. I've had um, situations where a single interest has just smashed any other of my uh, adver uh, adverts that I've had set up. We're going to go 27 to, we might up it a bit more, 27 to 33. Yeah, so it's at three. Three thirty is pretty good. Pretty good reach. So that's another one we can add. So I'll just add that one as well. 
And I'll do one more ad, just so you kind of get an idea of, of what I do. And done. And then I'm going to duplicate. It doesn't matter what one you duplicate. I'm going to change it anyway. Um, create a new campaign. Uh, pug test three. Uh, when you name this stuff, obvi uh, it's obviously better to you know put in all the ages and put what you've done just to keep track of things. Uh, this one we'll do post engagement as well, or maybe we'll do now we'll just stick to post engagement. But you can do your conversion and stuff like that. Um, test three. Now this one I'm going to do some stacking, and I'll show you what what that means. So stacking is when you stack interests. Okay, you just stack them up high. So I'm going to do. Uh, pug, I'll take away pug for now just so I can get up some other ones. I'm going to do pug, um, love my pug. It doesn't matter if it's the same as some of these because I'm probably going to do a different age. Pug's life, not really. I want to kind of do ones that are so hugs, not pugs. Everyone loves a pug. It's, it's all good to add small ones in there, but I usually try not to. Definitely not none of these ones. Um, no. Pug rescue is probably okay because they'll be quite passionate people about pugs. Pug rescue here. So I'll just quickly finish this up and stack up a whole bunch of fish interests and then come back and we'll have a look at what I've got. All right, so what I've done is I've added quite a few interests here. Sometimes I stack a lot more. Uh, but you just need to remember that this is a testing stage, okay? You don't really know what's going to work. There's really no precise blueprint for the testing stage. It just comes down to your preference, what you want to um, achieve, and you know the niche that, that you're in and stuff. And you can also narrow down your audience. So if you want to do like people that like like pugs and jewelry, you could do that. Or you could do people that like, like, you know, if you're advertising gaming stuff, a specific game and a specific console. So that's pretty cool. You can really narrow it down now. But just um, remember that if you do that, your audience is going to go down a lot. It'll almost be in half. But yeah, that's um, really how I do it. And then if we, you know, we could mess with the age again. So we've got 330 now. We can maybe do 26 for all we get three you know 360 but that's all i do for the testing stage guys there's nothing no secret to it just a bunch of randomness and then um that's gonna be, uh, basically that's going to determine what i need to do in five days or three days so let's say that for instance my five days is up and we have one winner we'll delete these we have one winner pug test three let's delete the rest of these other ones to make it a lot less confusing so let's say pug test three is our winner right I'm gonna now duplicate it Oh, I'm now going to run it for another three days. Uh, and then if it's still winning for me, I'm then just going to dupe. So th this campaign will now become my main pug campaign. Campaign. Right. And I don't really mess with the interest too much. What I do is I go to add sets. And I'm just going to duplicate this one. Uh, not delete. Uh, did I delete it just then? I'm going to duplicate it, keep the same campaign, and I'm just going to do like, you know, like I said, I could um, up the price a bit, so we'll do $9, and I'll leave everything the same. Okay, so, and then I'll just name this one um, Pug Price Increase to $9, just to keep track of things. Ninety-eight dollars, right? Crazy. And then I will do an update on that. Okay. Now that actually deleted the other ads. So, the so we'll, what we'll do now is we'll actually 
duplicate this again, sorry, uh, keep it in the same campaign, change this back to five, seven, seven, sorry, and I'm going to change this to main buffer add. I call them buffer ads, my main ones, because I always fall back on them. So this one's going to be making me money constantly, and I don't need to worry about this one, because this is the, the, the ad that has been winning for me the whole time, right? So that's my main buffer ad. This is my $9 one that I've had an increase from for my main buffer ad, and then I'm going to do another duplicate my buffer ad again, um, keep it in the same campaign. And then, you know, I'll do something like change the age slightly. So I might go 21, was on 27 to 26. Okay, that's, so that's all it is. It's just, and then just editing that. So I'm just going to now do this um, pug. What are we? 20, 21 to 26. Okay, and then I'm going to update that one let's wait for it to update here and then another another example is I might do uh, I don't know if we'll get much out of these but I might do duplicate this one again and uh, same campaign and I'm going to change the you know I might do instead of USA I might do like Los Angeles And do a, a radius of 50 miles and my reach is a lot lower but then I'll have to add you know my New York as well but you kind of get what I mean okay this is just an example this obviously isn't an ad and then now I'm up to 84 and you uh, you know add San Francisco that's all I'm doing and we're gonna go 50 mile radius so now we're up to 91 okay and um, yeah, that's all it is that there is to it. And then I'm going to change this to um, three states. Okay, I'll usually put LA, I'll put LA, New York, and San Francisco there. And that's it, guys. That's how I do my ads. Doesn't need to be complicated, doesn't need to be confusing. If you want to do more precise targeting, then I would go, I suggest go through here. Will probably work out better for you uh, in the long run. But for all you newbies and beginners, all you need to do is. Go through the power editor i recommend using this it's a lot better than just the standard um facebook advertising uh, platform like our dashboard so as you can see right now here i've got one campaign so out of all my test campaigns i had a winner theoretically and then i have my main ad and now i've multiplied that three more times so i'll watch these closely and then at, even if these fail i've still got my buffer ad here that's making me money so, so do you see what I mean now? I've now got an ad making me money that I know is going to work. And even if these fail, I can simply cancel them and then multiply this again if I want to keep trying to make more money from it because Facebook's already advertised, uh, optimized this advert for me. This is my main advert now that I can work off and um, use to do different variations of more ads. So you need to get uh, two or three good ads going, one, two or three good ads going, and then you can use them as your adverts to make more adverts and then you've got, they're going to optimize a lot quicker for you. Like These will optimize in a few hours or um, a day at most because they're already pretty much optimized now from the main advert, okay, For because you're in the optimized uh, campaign. And then you've got your ad sets here. You can come here and name them. I usually just name them the same as the uh, ad sets. And that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the description below. I'm not really going to come back to any of this stuff because... Um, you know, this is really all there is to it. There's nothing else I can do. I could maybe run an ad for you guys, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll come back if I have some good ads going in the next few weeks or some of my other stuff, but it's just hard to do all that because I don't want to expose any of my niches and it sucks trying to blow everything up. But, you know, that's it. So if you, if you have any questions, let me know. But, you know, Pug is probably not a very good example on this because it's just oversaturated. But I just used that because it was easy to get the interest. Your audiences you want between probably 200,000 and 400,000. Uh, obviously, the more the better because you can upscale it more. But that's kind of the sweet spot for me. Uh, I know someone that stacked up about 700,000 and their advert, they had a winning advert that lasted about 
three months so you know they do last a long time but obviously the more you have the better um, but then sometimes the ads can be more expensive so it really just depends it's, it's all about testing 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 and then you will um, figure out how everything works and what works for you and all that good stuff so good luck with your Shopify niches if you have um, get stuck seriously just let me know and you can let us know on our forums at affiliatehustle.com and I'll see you guys next time